just on the other side of the Solway Firth, and this is a peat mine. All these black piles are peat being extracted, which is pretty outrageous, given uh, all the governments have said they should, you know, are going to ban peat use for horticulture and stuff, but they're mining it all there. So all these areas on the Solway Firth, just flat lowland areas, are all peat. You see some of the processing plants there, bagging it up and all that there. It's huge piles of peat piled up in there. On the south side of the Solway Firth, there's also was some old peat extraction sites on the England side of it. So we're on the north now, we're in Scotland, and we're driving along the uh, A74, is it? No, uh, was it A75, which heads straight west along the bit that sticks out of Scotland all the way to Strand Raw. It's like a hundred miles basically straight up there. So that's what we're doing. So we are in Kukubri, which is spelled Kukudbright, but Kukubri. And uh, this is an artist's town. We've just parked here. Um, there's like a crossroads, a main street going up that way. Uh, there's like a castle ruins down there. I've just been to the post office and dropped off an eBay uh, item I brought with us, somebody bought last night. And there is, um, tomorrow and the next day is a food festival here, so that's why the marquees are here. The Kukubri Food Festival. There's the river and everything down there, should we go and have a look down there? The boats and things. Yeah, I think you have to pay to get in, get in and stuff. There was a space museum you had to pay to get in here as well. Tourist information centre there, that way. So the tide is out. We're here, we're sort of halfway along the big sort of stretch from goes from Dumfries to sort of Strand Raw along that stretch which heads west in a straight line and uh, we'll just drop down to Kirkubri here and uh, it's, a, it's a tidal bit so the, it's down and the boats, fishing boats look like lobsters, you think they'll catch lobsters? No, oh, no, they've got other fish there, look they're gutting them Is that there? Don't know Oh, we're just getting all the nets ready, I think. Oh. Yeah, there's a big anchor there, and there's like a cannons up there, lobster pots. And then lots of mud flats here, and the ramps. The boat's going down, straight into the muddy bits there. Yeah, Harbour Cottage Gallery. Uh, there's like a castle here, look. Ruins. Go on, up there. So this is the, the castle here now we're on. And it looks like it's all getting renovated, so we've got like, um, we've blocked off. It says, uh, investigating the condition of the stonework and things. Look at that now, with the hair coming down. Who was that now, with the hair coming down right down like that? Rapunzel? Why is the hair not attached to her head? Is it? Wow, so Rapunzel lives there. No, who, was Rapunzel the girl or the boy's name? Yeah. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Yeah. Why would right. he shout to himself? Yeah, well, I've forgotten what it was about. <laughs> 1200s, McClelland family. Yeah. Oh, they were going to be in the Royal Family. Yeah. 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 So what's this then? This is, uh, look at this, yeah, look at the street turn. Colourful buildings. Look at that co-op there. So 
So this is uh, the War Memorial. The, yeah, so this is the War Memorial, but it's an unusual one. You don't normally see that sort of statue for a War Memorial, do you? So you've got the First World War there, and the Second World War ones there. And, yeah. and look how colourful all the houses are and shops down there. Yeah. Oh. That's somebody selling fish there, look from nothing. Are they selling fish? I don't know what they're selling. Um, and look at the co-op Mary, the building the co-op's in. So it's about three o'clock on Monday, uh, Friday afternoon. Just uh, keep being on the path here. And we're in Kakubi. This costs like seven pounds to get in, look. No, eight pounds. I didn't write it down. No, I know. National Trust for Scotland. So it's National Trust for Scotland, that place. So Broughton House and Garden. Probably can see the garden if we go down that little lane down there. Yeah. That's what that is there. Custom House. We'll have to look up who E.A. Hornell was. Union yeah, Street. People have got these sort of frontage doors open like that, and then they you notice the doors, they're like, they've got like two doors, and they've got the front one open, some of them. That's in like a mosaic tile, they've got that, that writing there. Is that supposed to be a boat? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a boat on top of the, the wind. Vein is a boat, it's incredible, that, isn't it? Have you seen the, the wind vane made out of a boat? I mean, like a. Oh, yeah. That's weird, isn't it? Blackstone House. What's this? Have a look at these things here. So this is another art gallery inside a um, an old town hall, I think. This toll booth uh, art museum thing here. Have a look at. So we have some significant size uh, padlocks here. They're rather large, so just give you scale, that's my hand. They're very large. So we're in the Tolbooth Museum and Art Gallery in Kukubri. What is this here? This is a witness box from the court built in 1868. Look at that. That's the old clock the mechanism for it. How are you doing there, sir? It's looking rather worried. <laughs> the tool goods were basically where the taxes were collected from the local area, so basically a tax collecting place. And then it says that this is one of the earliest surviving in Scotland. Uh, so it was 1629 was built. There's the museum, you see it's got 15,000 letters about the old defences overseen by the magistrates. Look at that half a bushel in terms of like, uh, the bones of the library. Look at this, 
So it says that between 18, are you ready? 1850, 1950, it was an established as an artist colony. The quality of the light brought the painters to Kukubri, and that no doubt that a strong attraction was being part of close to the colony of artists all working together. And now it's being established again as an art town. And that's why I've got galleries and all sorts of things here. And who was John Paul Jones? Have we got one of the most famous occupant of the Tolbooth cells, hero of the American Navy, and uh, was arrested and held here in the cells. He was held on bail and cleared, so he wasn't guilty. Yeah. jail locks. Can I, can I please? <coughs> no. I'm appetizing water leads. I'm kidding you. Roman Catholic Church, look at the sign for there, it says. There's a nice fella in there telling them about the area and what they're going to see and all that, but it's so quiet, isn't it? There's nobody here. Yeah. You can go in there. I mean, I, you know, it's, a, it's a quite a house, that one. So there's loads of art gallery. We've just been in that one. There's one there that's actually closed, I think. This one's closed today, this one. There's like no cars and no people. It's just completely quiet. The seagulls going. So there's a couple of masses there. Look, St Andrews and St Cuthbert's Roman Catholic Church, 9:30, and then a vigil at five on a Saturday in St Peter's Church in Dalbiti. Oh, that's just a nice the little place. The church hall behind it. And then the priest's house there, it's quite a big priest's house. Nearly, the priest's house is nearly bigger than the church, I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> 